Right, welcome back everyone. I am back out again with Steve in his new igloo. Lovely sunset over there. We'll be setting soon, obviously. We are down Hyfe. Just we just literally come down for whatever there is. There's no target. There's just fish for whatever's in front of us. It's low tide. So we're fishing up high tides at half twelve midnight. So we'll be fishing, it's darkness. Um I've got one rod out already with a rolling lid on and a turret loop rig with some place beads on with some fresh blacks if there's just a place out there, but I'm literally after anything today. It's just nice to be out. A beautiful sunset, look at that. Damaged my rods again, just knocked another insert out. They're going in for a rebuild anyway because I don't like the eyes on them. They'll be coming with food eyes. But yeah, a bit of a nightmare really, but here's what it is. Just gonna get my other rod set up. Probably put another look rig out while the sun's here. And when the sun's, when it gets dark, I'll probably move over to pulley rigs or something like that, or up and overs. But yeah, which I'll show you anyway. I'll show you the bait we're using. Right, we've got some lovely fresh blacks from Midway Tackle today. We've got fresh blacks. Let's just get these out of the way. Um, some frozen blueies. The squid, the frozen blacks in there. Ah, uh, what we got in there? Ah, that's what we've got. Looks like, give these a go. I bet they can come out of that. Ooh. Let's put that in my box, I don't need. Some fresh peelers, I'm gonna go and get some water though, I think. I'm gonna need a bit of water. A bit drying out. But yeah, got some fresh peelers. Oh, that's alive. Oh, no, that one's dead. All right. Yeah, so there's the bait. <laughs> Plenty of bait. Steve's got more bait than me, more than you need. But yeah, I'll bring you back once I've got my rod out and show you the rigs and everything I'm using. There's Steve down there. What's he doing? Oh, he's back to cast. Let's have a look. Let's get him. Rocking his new Seaglo hat. <laughs> Definitely see that. Don't Steve, is it? Not bad. Don't know where that went. Oh, look, I don't know if you can see that. That's quite a way out there. But I've got. Where are they? You see that line which is running across? There's a sandbank out of there. If I put my polarized lenses in the front of the camera, you'll see. Let me try it, see if it works. Ah, oh, there you go, look at that, is it? Sandbar. Obviously, we can't cast that far. That's, that's well easy, probably 150 to 200 yards, probably further, actually. We ain't casting that far. But yeah, there's that. First cast, I said I wouldn't mind the place. And we have A lovely place. You can see that. You see it all right? Yeah, you can. There you go, look. A lovely little place. Quite chunky and all. This one's definitely been filled up, look. If it's small, look how, look how fat his belly is, look. Been munching out there. He's took my hook, so I'm gonna have to try and get that out. Uh, fresh black lug with my Sea Glow Ultra Lumi. No, sorry, ultra flatty balls. Now, if you can see that in his mouth, there you go, look. Swallowed the whole thing. The natural play speed, sorry. So I'm going to get it unhooked, get it back. But yeah, what a result. First fish. Just casting them back out after that place. And it's already got a bite. Both of them are going to sit. They never do. Whenever I get my camera out, I'll show you bites, it stops. But yeah, they are biting. Oh, I don't know if you can see that one. They are biting. Oh, come on. Well, if I get another fish, I'll come back. But yeah, what a lovely evening. Fish first cast. I don't believe in that first cast, fish curse shite, is what it is. 
we'll see. Hopefully another place, that'd be good nice. There you go, second fish, second cast. Little dogfish just took, took blacks. Yeah, we'll get him on out to get him back. Just show you the rig I'm using, or one of them. This is just a a free hook clip, free up free hook loop rig, sorry. I'm just using size two matches scratch, small bits of fresh black lug. We've got a loomy sequin and a bait stop on ultra stops on there. Um it's sunset, as you can see. It's starting to get dark, so I think this could be my last cast with try for a place. And I'm gonna sit here and make a few pulley rigs up or up and overs and then move over to crab baits when that tide starts coming up, see if there's any bigger fish out there raise or we're just gonna get plagued with dogfish. But we never know. But yeah, two casts, two fish. We can't argue with that. And that one is going. Yeah, you can see it biting, look. Oh yeah, of course, cool. every time I film it, it don't bite. What a surprise. But it is going. So we're gonna get this one out, get that one in, and we'll see what happens. But uh, what a lovely night. Oh, please, that's got, that's got a crack in behind it. I just grabbed my phone. I didn't know where to grab the rod or the phone, but look. Oh, come on. I bet I missed it for the video. Oh, the joys of doing videos. I have it all. <laughs> oh, it's literally got tapping, tapping, right down and bending over. That's got a two at loop rig on that with the play speeds, and it's got a rolling lead on it. Oh, it's a cracking bite and all, and I've gone missed it. Oh, what? No. Oh, I missed it, didn't I? Oh, it's still there. Well, I'm just going to reel it in. If there's anything I'll let you know. <laughs> well. Completely missed that. Tried to get to the bottom video and I missed the fish, but it was literally banging down on my rod. I should have just grabbed it, but I wanted to see, get, show you a bite. It's not happening, but as you can see, tripod's glowing. That means it's getting night time. So it's time to just get all my lights up and things like that. Steve's got his new tripod light on. You can't see it there. I'm going to show you that in a minute. It was pucker. But yeah. Sunset. We're probably going to get played by whiting, dogfish, but you never know. We might pull something else out. Still got my scratchy rigs on. Um, I'm not moving over yet. I'm gonna fish with these for probably another half hour. And then, uh, well, I leave one scratchy rig on, and then I fish. I want to make a, I don't know, a pulley rig or something. I don't know. I can figure it out in a minute, and we'll go from there. Right, I'm just gonna make some rigs up. But I thought I'd quickly show you it, show you some bits. Obviously, this ain't my product, but I'm still gonna show you. These are absolutely pucker. This is from a company called Midwater. They're in the UK, all UK made. And these are absolutely wicked to chuck in my seat box. Big ch chunky sip. You know, none of these small, fat, small tiny sips. Big old, look at the size of it, chunky. This is all waterproof, nylon. And I'll quickly show you one. I've got two and I'll keep, there you go. This is my, let me just open it up if I can. There we go. I keep <laughs> too many hooks in here. Don't ask me why. But obviously I do a lot of videos on my gear, so I've always got that. My new, ah, you ain't seen these. These are my, one, I've got two new tackle boxes just come out. I'll show you them. My new thingy. I'll, I'll put that stick on there myself, the components, the print out for myself. These are the Seagrove stickers that come with the box. These are pucker. Because normally I'll take, I'll take so much gear. I might show you. There we go. Look at that. How much gear I've got in. I've got loads in that. I just like to take gear with me in case I need anything. I mean, I've got all my swivels, my continental links, 
Cascades, Arrow Beads, Crimps, we've got up here. Arrow Links, big and small, SRT Springs, UV Stops, and all my SS Links there. But yeah, it's pucker. So I'm just about to make up some rigs, but I thought I'd show you that. You can get them on my website. £4.50 they are. Obviously, postage is going to be a bit higher because they're bulky. But yeah, they're wicked. And I've got another one, which is a bit bigger, which you can see I did bring with me. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd quickly show you them. There's an old mid-water bags as well. I'm mean, honestly... Oh! Guess how much these bags are. I know it's nothing to do with me. Obviously, I paid for them, obviously, if anyone thinks that. I'm not a show associated with any brand apart from Seaglow because it's mine. But I bought these because I wanted, from this this reason, £8.99. These bags are £8.99 eight, £8 for a UK-made bag of this quality. Outstanding value that is. They make a lot of um, a lot of stuff for other brands as well, so you may see a Seagull one in the future. Um, they make, I know they make rig wallets that Ville sell, and another brand sells. And I've got a really good bottom of my rod. <laughs> look, 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 look at that. Is that you, Steve? Yeah. My rod is bouncing up and down. Yeah, Steve. Yeah, it's you. Right, I've got to go. But that's the mid-water bags. There's the new tackle boxes. <laughs> there you go. Finally, you can see a bite on the camera. <laughs> I've just been making up another rig. In fact, I'll show you where have I put it. We'll get that in a minute. I've just made up a a long panel, it's a long panel, because I've got some peeler crabs, and I'm going to mount it on a 6-0 Kentaro short shank crab. Oh, these are lovely hooks, especially for these hounds, it's so sharp. And then all I've done, before I try something different, put one of my bullet pop-ups, UV stop, which obviously I'll bring down in a minute just to give it a bit more movement. Very basic pulley, no fancy pulley beads, literally just a basic pulley. But yeah, that's still going. So I'll get that. If there's a fish on there, I'll show you. If not, I've probably, I've missed it twice already. I've already reeled it in twice, I keep missing them because I'm doing stuff. But yeah, it's nine o'clock now, as you see, it's dark. But yeah, let's see what happens. Well, that's what that bite was. A dogfish and a nighttime place. <laughs> Result. So I'm getting them back out quickly. Sorry, the shadow's coming off my head a lot on the phone. And get my rig back out. But I want to put this on my other rod now. And I'm going to start fishing a pedal rig. A, sorry, a pulley rig. So there's any bigger fish out there with a peel of crab on. But yes, yeah, great fun. Right, just a little update, let you know what's happening. We are currently getting plagued by dogfish. I know it's gonna happen. Every cast, whatever size hook, they're just taking all of it. Steve's just had double shots. I'm getting slack lined by dogfish. It's just one of those things which you have to fight through dogfish if there's anything else out there. So I've just put a big chunk of bluey on a left hand rod, about 20 yards out, just to see if there's any bass, anything about. No doubt I'll get a dogfish. But yeah, you want dogfish, get down Hyphen Kent. There is loads. But yeah, I'll let you know if anything else or anything interesting. I, I've had about five, six dogfish more. I've had a lot more. I just haven't shown you because I don't think you want to see the video filled with dogfish. But yeah, I'll let you know if anything else happens. There we go. Triple shot of dogfish. Uh, let me tell my laugh. Oh shit. Uh, uh, one, two, three. On a three up clip down. What a nightmare. Great fun though. Another three. Nice. Another three on this. Yeah, can't be doing this all night. It's knackering me out. 
but we, we ain't getting through them. I've literally changed tactics. I'm casting 15 yards out now and just see if there's anything close in. So I'm going to get this uncooked quick and get it back. <laughs> Well, right, guys, uh, we're just getting dogfished out. I mean, instantly I'm putting, they're, they're out about five yards and I'm getting dogfished. It's absolutely mental. Steve's getting dogfished. Um, I tied in an hour, but I don't think I'll be around here for that long. It's just absolute nightmare. You can see that one going now. Look, look right there. That is five yards out. Look at it go. Trying for bass, but the dogfish are just getting them. It's absolutely mental. I don't get me wrong, it's great to catch fish, but it'd be nice to get through the dogfish to catch something else. So, I'm probably going to leave my video here. Um, if you ain't subscribed, please do. We've got a lot of a lot of new videos coming up. I want to get back down the south of the coast for the place, carry on a place hunt. Um, I think I want to get over Wales soon and all. And I'll be meeting up with the team, Sea Glow team. That's gonna, be a, that's gonna be a cracking video that um yeah when we hit 4,000 subscribers i'll give someone 100 pounds see glow voucher online vouchers you can use on the website so all the likes the shares everything it all, it all helps and uh yeah i'll catch you on my next one whenever that will be cheers everyone